Hi everyone. Today I want to show you guys one of the cool new features that they've brought onto the new edition 1.54 of GrabCAD Print. Let's go ahead and open up GrabCAD Print where you see we brought this STL file in called Bike Shield STL. And if we were to print it in this orientation, you would see that we have a very thin base against that base plate. So what we want to do is we want to add something to help stabilize it. So new to GrabCAD Print, we have these new features called stabilizer walls. So we can go ahead and click this. It's the fifth icon down in that toolbar, and it's gonna go ahead and generate a stabilizing wall for us to help keep that model propped up during the printing process. Stabilizing walls were traditionally only available through Insight and were only available to customers on the F370, the Fortis 400 and 360, the Fortis 380 and 450, as well as the F900. So now bringing stabilizers to GrabCAD Print gives all FDM users the capability of using these stabilizer walls. So here in this flyout bar, you can see all of the different variables that we have to control, things like the height of the tower. So we can go ahead and change this to say five, and you can see it'll automatically drop that to five inches in the Z height. Uh, we can change the number of contact points we have on the model. Here you can see we have one, two, three, four. We can make this number as low as two. Go ahead, that'll generate for us and we can even do things like click and drag these arrows around the body of the model so we can indicate that we want the wall to start from point a and go over to point b and you can see we can drag this down if we make the arrow go in the same direction it'll try and wrap that stabilizing wall all around the model and if we bring it back where the arrows are facing towards each other we can see it's going to generate a wall that goes just in between these two points. So let's bring this back up to four and we're just going to continue to play around with this and show you some of the cool features available. You can also change the start height. What this is, is this is the, uh, the point in which the stabilizing wall will begin making contact with the model. So let's just go ahead and say we want this to start two inches up. Um, we'll bring our height back up to something like 10. This would be if we wanted to stabilize the model at a much higher point. And we can go through the depth changes how wide the bases of the stabilizing wall is. So you can see this base is gonna get a little bit bigger. And we can also customize things like the contact gap, the contact penetration, how deep the um, stabilizing wall penetrates the wall of the model itself. And then we have the penetration interval, which is the distance in the Z height that the, uh, each penetration point will meet on the surface of the part. So stabilizer walls have unlocked a lot of capabilities for FDM users, uh, particularly those that didn't have access to insight before. Uh, but now you'd be able to apply this to all of your different printers on your models that require uh, stabilizing walls. And again, those are gonna be things with a thin flat uh, surface area to connect to the build plate too. Thank you all for watching. For more tips and tricks on 3D printing, head, please head over to trimac.com or reach out to your local sales representative.